To make it easy for different writers and writers and designers to collaborate with each other, you can use something called notes. So I have a blank document right here in in copy as you can see. So I'm just going to type in a sentence right here. So I'm just going to go around and type in this is a sentence just like this. And I'm just going to copy paste this around. So right here, this is just a normal sentence. There's no notes, nothing right here. So let's say I want to communicate with other writers or designers uh, to say something um, uh, over here regarding this text. So uh, for that case, I can use notes. So to add in notes, you can go over here up onto the notes menu. And over here, you can see that you can go to notes mode. So once you click on this, you can see that there's the notes right here. So you can click anywhere. Let's say, for example, my cursor was here. So I can just type in the notes right there. So I can type in something like, please make this sentence easier, just like this. So a note has been added right there. I can also go over here onto the side, just like that, and add in a note right there as well. So I can go into new notes and click on new note and a new note is added right there. I can say add in something creative here. So just like that, what happens is that now the note is there. But this, uh, for this, you um, have to be in the editing mode right here, because if you are in the preview mode, then you don't see this out. So you have to make sure that you are uh, not in the preview mode. So that is like, let's say right now it's normal mode, but if you are in preview mode for some reason, then you won't be able to access this out. So now in the story, let's see how that works like. So if I were to go to story, you can see the, note, um, the notes right here. So whatever you see here is not uh, a part of a sentence, but it is there as a note, just like this. So these are the two notes that we added in. You can also go over here and then work around with the notes. So you can go around, click on new note and add a note, new note right over here. And then in the layout view, you'll be able to see that note just like this. So you can see it. Uh, just like a little icon right over here and you can go on to notes mode to see what it is So you can go over here click on the arrow and you'll see the different notes as you can see just like this So let me just close this on to the story mode and you can see that a new note has been added in as well So another thing that you can do is the notes is very interactive I can just click on this to uh, minimize this click on it again to maximize and see the details So it's very interactive as well. So now you can go over here and then choose the collapse note right over here to collapse the note and expand note. So you can go over here just like this and there's collapse and expand note from right over here as well. So you can go over here and then you can collapse note and you can delete the note as well. So let's say, for example, if I want to delete this, I can simply select this, go on to notes and delete note. We can also navigate around to the note by going on to previous note right here. So go on to previous note or go to next note just like this. You can also convert the note into text. So you can go around here. The note is selected. Please make this sentence easier, which is not visible right here as of now. So I'm just going to go to it story and then I'm going to go to notes and then I'm going to convert this to text. So what that does is now it has been converted into a readable text, which can be viewed in layout view as well. I can also select a text and then convert that back into a note. So I can go over here and convert to note. So that part has been converted to a note just like this. So I can go around and work around with the notes just like this, as you can see. So there are a lot of options as well. So if I were to go and click in the middle of the note somewhere in the middle, go to notes and then click on split note, then two separate notes has been created on that particular section. So what I can do is I can go to story and then in between I can type in something and you'll be able to see that there are two notes right over here. So I can go over here, click on it and view the separated notes just like this. So there are many ways as you can see. You can also expand and collapse the whole note. So if I were to click on expand and collapse notes in story, if I were to do this, what happens is that it collapses all the notes. And if I were to go to notes and expand this out, then it expands all the notes in the view. I can go to notes again and click on remove notes from story as well. So once I do that, what happens is that all the notes gets removed. So you can also do this with an InDesign document. So for that, I'm just going to open out 
um, the InDesign documents. I'm just going to go to my documents and here I have my InDesign document with multiple stories. So if I have some notes over here, so let's go to layout view. I can just select and check this out. So just like that, I'm just going to uh, work around with this. I'm going to press space bar to check all of these out right here. And then I can add in notes right here as well. So I can go over here and I can convert to note. I can go to note mode and then add this in as well. So just like that, I can go around and edit with this as well. So let us go to story. Uh, let's say, for example, I'm going to add in new notes, add in notes right here, add in notes right here. So new note, add in note right here and then add a note right here as well. So I'm just going to go to notes, new note add a note. So you can see that I got notes right here. You see the red marks where the notes are located and then you can work with multiple stories as well. So now here, if you are in InDesign and you have multiple story document, so that is uh, if you open up InDesign document uh, in, in copy and you have multiple stories, you can even go over here and you can see that there's an option to remove notes from story or remove all the notes that is all the story will be affected just like this if i were to press ctrl z and if i were to go over here onto this story go to notes remove notes from story it only removes notes from that particular story but if you want to remove notes altogether, you can simply go on to notes and click on remove all notes and this is how you can work around with notes inside of adobe in copy so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe